Hello everyone. Um, I'm here with my trusty cat Thad that's keeping me company while I work on this project I've been working on and um, I'm taking a break from it but I wanted to share a few things with you about planning to go off-grid and some of the things that uh, were in my bedroom as you can tell and please forgive the computer screen before you but I want to be able to share a few things with you. Um, so the basic deal is I've got a 20 acre property and I'm gonna move out there and I'm gonna build a cabin from scratch with my own two hands and I'm gonna do it using reclaimed materials mostly I'm gonna buy some new stuff such as uh, building wrap and things like that to make sure that I am dry um, but a lot of the things I'm using I'm basically gonna reclaim and also I am building under the permit size so a structure under 200 square feet or 200 square feet and under in the county that I'm in does not require a permit and I'm going to try to avoid initially drilling a well or um, connecting to the power grid which is another cost entirely into itself I'm trying to do this on a budget and what I've been doing is I've been planning out what my structure is going to look like on paper actually on the screen using a simple tool that all of us have usually on our desktops whether you're PC or Mac it doesn't matter but I tend to use Excel for all kinds of things and in my twenty some years of being a construction manager and project manager uh, I've learned to use Excel to demonstrate and to communicate ideas to clients and I wanted to just go through this little exercise with you that I've been taking myself through basically to share it with you to show you how it can be done so simply and what I'm gonna do here is try to use this uh, video and create a little tutorial for you just to go through the sort of uh, 65 70 percent I've built so far what you're looking at here is the general front uh, in line drawing in Excel um, you can see the grid pattern um, what I've done is I've basically to one side, I'm going to pick up a uh, stylus so I can point to some of this stuff here. Um, to one side here is the, uh, you're looking at the, first of all the front of the unit or of the uh, uh, cabin. <laughs> You've got the what would be the front if you're looking at it would be the front right corner right here where my little stylus is I've got a big window over it I've got double doors French doors in the front and another big window over here above this area what you see the red are my solar panel array and this is a raised uh, let's call it a lean-to roof <laughs> um, and you'll see it in the elevation when I roll up to it but I just want to mainly want you to pay attention to the drawing and see if it makes sense. This is my water tank, one of uh, the uh, uh, left end um, of the uh, building, but I guess it would be the right side of the screen. Um, that's what I've been struggling with, pardon me. I was just trying to figure out your left or my left, clerk view or customer view. Anyway, um, I'm going to scroll through and you can see what they look like and I'll talk about them as we go. So this is the front. Um, let's see, I'm at four minutes, so I've got about another six minutes to show you this. Uh, so I'm scrolling up. This is an elevation that I did. And what you're seeing uh, is basically the side view. And what, I'm gonna, what I've done is I've laid out where my plumbing, this is my plumbing wall basically. I've laid out where my plumbing is going to be. Um, the utility deck above you can see in the corner there where my solar panels will lay again I'm just using Excel diagonal lines heavy lines um, coloring in a cell I've basically got the width of the unit the 10 feet scaled off in six inch grids and so I'm able to use every six inches turn a corner turn a line um, this is basically where my water is going. I've got a legend to go with these colors, by the way. Um, I will put that in later. That's part of the last 15% of work I have to do. Um, the idea of this is that I have a plan, even though it's a 
basic non-architect plan, it allows me to be able to show people if I'm ever challenged as to what I'm doing. Is it planned out? Uh, yes, it is. Um, I've thought it through. Uh, here's another thing that I'm going to show you. I've got used Excel to detail out what my foundation piers are going to look like. And I've just used the little features within Excel to uh, just lay out, uh, again, plumbing locations, outline of the cabin footprint, um, how my pier is going to be, where it's going to be gravel and sand, where um, I'm going to have rebar, the line weights uh, above here, if you look, again, I'm going to grab my stylus, the line weights, uh, I need to find myself on the, there we go, the line weights here that I use to represent the rebar in the center of the pier um, is basically a uh, line weight selection when you're adding uh, shading to a cell. Um, anyway, this I'm going to scroll up a little bit and you'll see my entire foundation plan just above it. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. So there's my foundation plan and what I've done is I've laid out using little circles in the uh, sort of the, the insert um, circles, insert uh, button. Um, I've laid out where my vent, this is the bathroom corner or the wet corner of the cabin, where my bathroom uh, uh, is going to be, my toilet, my stacks. Um, sorry some of this is not clear, but my shower, um, the kitchen line, this is all where it occurs below or at the foundation uh, level and my floor framing so I know where I have to cut through and I can plan it ahead, think about it, what goes into a tank, what diverts to a, uh, a gray water uh, cistern. Um, anyway, so this again is foundation level, then moving up. Um, again, I take the time in the corner here, you can see I take the time to label that it is the foundation plan and details, which are laid here. You saw earlier the more specific detail of the uh, how I'm going to secure different things or different elements, different materials together. Um, this is actually a little poor detail down in the corner here. Um, show where the rebar is from the edges. Uh, I have to kind of write some of these things in later. And I know I have a little bit more skill just from being a construction manager, but you can actually do this uh, just to plan out your project. This is my actual floor plan.